It's time now for local latest in local sports in sports. The Wayne County Yellow Jackets are set for a doubleheader day at Howard Bell Warren Field, taking on region opponent Warner Robins. As the Jackets look to finish their region schedule at 12 and 0, currently 10 and 0 in the region with two games remaining today. Special night is they'll have senior night. They're recognizing only the nine seniors and their families today at the ballpark. The seniors are Tyler Dennison, Ray Townsend, Jack Perkins, Zach Thomas, Dawson Lastinger, Jacob Brewer, Cody Eicher, Blake Brockington, Austin Burgess. Coach McDonald has talked all season long on how all nine of these players have contributed to the success of the team. Region champions already set to host the first round of the state playoffs Wednesday afternoon with a doubleheader against Jones County. The third game, if needed, will be played Thursday at 5 p.m. Sheffield Strosen Sports Shop has on sale the region championship t-shirts, so stop by and purchase yours for senior night or for the playoffs. Again, WFLFM will be on the air tonight with the pregame at 420. Doubleheader day, again, Warner Robins, the opponent. Wayne County won the first game Tuesday by a score of 18-1. The helpful folks at Harris innings. Ace Hardware say Junior thank you for choosing Harris Ace as your favorite. Which leads the state in all high school classifications. Again, doubleheader day today, state playoffs Wednesday. All games right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5 and the World Wide Web. Speaking of state playoffs, the varsity boys tennis team in second round of the state tournament yesterday at Woodward Academy. Woodward wins all five matches, and they advance to the Elite Eight in 5A tennis. Both soccer teams lost this week in round one of the state playoffs. The girls lost 7-0 at Union Grove. The boys lost 6-1 at Locust Grove. Got some track results from a meet at Coffee. Coffee won both the girls and boys meet, but Wayne came in second in both meets. Irwin County also participated. Raby easily took first place in the 100-meter hurdles and second in the triple jump. Javia Fulmore took first in the 100-meter dash with a time of 12.46. Jalen Taylor first in the 300-meter hurdles with a time of 55.16. Laura Molina was first in the shot put, 33.6 feet. First in the discus, 111 feet. Wayne took first and second in the boys' 100-meter. Perry Simpson took first with a time of 10.98. Elijah Jones second with a time of 23.51. Daniel Duke Barton came in second in the 1,600-meter run with a time of 5.15. Aiden Jones first in the high jump. Trevor Wallace first in the long jump. Camden Williams came in first in the discus and third in the shot put. Rex scoreboard from last night in 8U baseball. Rockies 8, Reds 4. Odom 8, Braves 7. Cubs 7, Pirates 6. In 10U baseball, Cubs 8, Odom 4. Orioles 11, Astros 6. And the Angels beat the Braves 13-7. In 12U baseball, the Braves 8, Dodgers 4. Astros 8, Reds 3. In 8U softball, Odom 6, Dirt Diamonds 4, 10U Softball, Odom 18, Yellow Jackets 8, and 14U Softball, Tigers 8, Yellow Jackets 8. Atlanta Braves host the Arizona Diamondbacks this weekend, beginning this evening with the first pitch around 720. That game will start on AM 1370. Hopefully join them in progress after the Wayne Cuddy doubleheader. And due to this weekend's weather forecast, Georgia Southern has moved its spring blue-white game to tonight at 730 p.m. It was scheduled for Saturday at 1 p.m., a couple quarterbacks battling out for the starting job. Redshirt junior Justin Tomlin, who started last year when Wirtz was unavailable. Tomlin expected to be pushed by Georgia Tech transfer James Graham, who's missed both spring scrimmages and multiple practices due to personal issues. But again, he's expected to battle for the job. That from head coach Chad Lunsford. Again, the spring game set for tonight in Statesboro at 7.30. And the 21st annual Wayne County Exchange Club golf tournament date has been set. Saturday, May 8th, shotgun start at 8.30 a.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club. 18-hole, four-man scramble, limited to the first 22 teams that signed up. And if you need more information, call the Pro Shop or see Katie Stevens at Prime South Bank. Number to call to sign up, 427-6670. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports.